Car T cells. Sounds like a rock group. Yes, sir. It's chimeric antigen receptor T cells. So we've been curing mice for a long time with this, and this is like crazy stuff. So you take a white cell whose job in life is to fight virus, and then you create the synthetic DNA that you introduce to the cell, and the cell takes this DNA and manufactures this totally synthetic T cell receptor, which is a protein that finds its way to the surface of the cell. But this protein is completely engineered to recognize specific targets. And there's nothing like it in nature. It's complete man-made engineering but it redeploys the cell in a manner that, where, whereas it would never have the ability to recognize a tumor cell, with this little thing, becomes an exocet and recognizes a tumor cell. And when it does so, it thinks it's a virus-infected cell, and then it unleashes all these cell-killing agents. Again, granzymes and perforins and peroxidases, which rupture the tumor cell. But all we did is by redirecting the normal cell with this little exocet thing, you get this anti-tumor effect. So the, the breakthrough, so in mice, we've been doing this for about, I don't know, 10, 15 years, but it takes about a decade for a technology done in the Petri dish and in the mouse to make it the clinic. And there are a lot of efforts by very many groups, many in the US and some in Europe, who have been working in parallel, developing slight variations on the same technology to redirect cells to fight cancer. And there have been some very, very spectacular effects of the use of these cells in people with certain kinds of leukemias.